So this morning we, we heard from the Baishans many special qualities that our Gurudev had. Really, <coughs> our Gurudev is a very special Acharya uh, in, in the line of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, and then coming now, Srila Bhakti Parayan Keshav Maharaj, and also, and also uh, helping all of Srila uh, Bhakti Yanta Swami Prabhupada's disciples. So he is, he is actually a very special Acharya. One, one very great quality that he had, that is why he received the title from Sri Param Gurudev as uh, the friend of all devotees, is that he used to give shelter to everyone, no matter uh, who their uh, Diksha Guru was. Really, most of uh, Srila Gurudev's most uh, dear disciples were actually not his own disciples. He, he gave shelter to all the um, his god brothers' disciples, Bhaktivedanta, Bhavan, Swami Maharaj, many of his um, very close disciples, they were serving Srila Gurudev. He also gave shelter to many and disciples, Srila Bhaktivedanta, Puri, Goswami Maharaj, Srila. But she was the anti disciple also. And when he was like that, he was open. He was an Acharya that was giving shelter to everybody. So many Shila Prabhupada's disciples also took shelter of him. So he had this special quality, very magnanimous to everybody. And he had this like, this Parakya mood with his disciples. That's why sometimes they, they would say some of his Proji used to say, oh, they say sometimes we, we could argue with him because it's all, you know, you're not a Diksha Guru. So we can argue with him, no problem. So he was very affectionate, very affectionate. He showed so much love. And even though he was such an elevated Mahabhaga at Rajabasi and everything, he had so much respect for uh, for his godbrothers, Shri Tibhika Maharaj, Shri Lakhanga Swami Maharaj, that he didn't even give Diksha even though he was so qualified, so much respect for him, for them, that he was only just <clears throat> in recent years that he started giving the chance. So that's, that's actually Guru Devi's embodiment of Trinada, Peace, Nichananda, or Nichananda. Why? Because even though he's the most qualified, most great Rajabasi, he never, he never had any pride in himself. No pride at all. He's such a great Mahabhagavad, topmost caliber. He he was he's giving the title of Yuga Acharya also, Rasik Acharya, everything. But he never he ne never felt like that. All his humility was in his hand. Every time his god brothers came, he would give Shastan Dandava pronounced to them. So much humility. We, you can see every time Guru is traveling around the world, every time seeing Swami Maharaj's disciple, he making them sit just beside him. Always giving honor and respect to them. Even though they're not even near his toes <laughs> in qualification, but he was so always giving respect. Teaching us by example how real Rajavasis are. And, and Srila Gurudev, his quality was like, he was like Guruvaj. Outside, very hard, you can see the austerity he has done. We have, we have listened today in Harikata how Srila Gurudev, he is so much strong, deep austerity like the Goswamis. So hard, so hard austerity. And he never wanted, he never wanted anything from this world. All the time he brought us together. In Giriraj he says, don't be cheated. Giriraj will give you everything. He can give you whatever you want, but you only ask one thing. And then he told us this prayer. If you ever ask anything from Giriraj, just ask him this. Don't ask him anything more. So Srila Guru that he was like this. And even though he's he was such a Rasika Acharya, all the time talking the glories of Raja Davis and everything. He was a strict follower 
of Shiva uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's line. Like we had heard, he followed all the rules and regulations of the man. And very strictly, you know, some people criticize the Lev and say, oh, he's talking all these things. You know, some people even said, oh, he's like Sahajriya and stuff like that. And Gurudev speaking, and, and then Gurudev is explaining in that nectar for the uh, essence of all advice, in that book that is compilation of his lectures, he's saying, do you know what Sahajriya means? You know, they didn't see me smoking or drinking or anything. No. And he was explaining, actually, in order to speak this kata, you have to be very strong, like a, a very strong, following all the rules and regulations. Like Benu Gopapar was explaining this morning, you know, he wanted to give this Raganuga Bhakti, this Rupanuga Bhakti and everything, but that doesn't mean the one that doesn't follow rules and regulations. Actually, one follows more strict. All right, the songs were so strict in the rules and regulations, very strict. And Shila Gurudev was not the, was not different than that. He's following all Guru Parampara, all Gaudiya Mat rules, you know, all those people that are willing to give their hearts to Gurudev, and he also gave them a chance to stay in the Mat and uh, inspiration to continue preaching, gave them inspiration to know all Prabhupada's disciples. But Externally, he used to be so renounced, so strict. Like, like Prabhu, you said he didn't even let him change his bed. He's like, this is the bed Prabhu gave me. No matter if he breaks 20 times, you have to fix it. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it's not that, that Guru Dev didn't have, he's got all opulence, all power. He can, he can stay wherever he wants. He could stay in a castle or anything. But he's very simple. You know, he's staying in the skin, you know in a very simple way. So this is, this is the example of a, of a real graduate. Even though he's so great and so wonderful, he, he's all the time giving respect to everybody. You, you, couldn't, you can't imagine how like when, when um, when all the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti decided to turn their backs on, on, on Guru, that many of you know, Prabhuji not even exactly, they were completely upset. They're like, how is this possible? He has taken care of them since they're children. He, he taught them everything. And now they're trying to run on top of his head. They're not just because they want some power or some money. How can you exchange this? It's like selling your own father. How can you do this? They're so upset like that. And even when they came for Parikrama, then Prabhu said, ah, we're not going to give them Prashanam, they, well, they can go wherever they want. The Guru said, no, you're gonna, they're going to come here and you're going to serve them and also you're going to give them Pranami and you're going to respect them. And, and he did that with many people that even abused him, criticized him, he didn't care. He always gave his second chance. They could always come and, and go to him. So this is something that you will not find anywhere. So I'm a chariot like that. So much humility, so much love for his, for everyone that this is real humility, you know. For a person to be in that stage and, and just completely be open to everyone, even to us, all conditioned Jivas. He, he did so much, like, like it, was, it was mentioned this morning, it's so much austerity. He's a Brajabasi, he's, he's from that realm and he's going to Western countries to us and we're just not following anything. And he had no need to do this. He's, he's already got his eternal self with his Guru Dev and everybody. Just for mercy he came to us and and even though he's got all this sweet package to give us, he, even though he's following very strictly, he made it very simple. Very simple. And um, I mean, we have, there's no way to repay Shila Gurudev for what he has given us. But only one thing that I do remember from one time we were hearing that, uh, it was the Tirova of Puja Pashi, of Shipat Ram Goswami Maharaj. And unfortunately, because I guess, at least for me, due to my bad karma, I have no affection for Vaishnav, so. Nothing, feeling nothing on these days. But then when I see people who have 
affection for the guru, you can see how their heart is breaking. They're actually feeling like, you know, you lost a very, very close relative. It's like losing your mother, your father, like that kind of feeling. And something that stuck me is that we should never think that Srila Gurudev actually left us. We should always see that Srila Gurudev, he never leaves. He's actually, like from what I heard from, from the Vaishnavas, he actually enters into the hearts of all his disciples. His disciples. So if one really wants to serve his guru there, if one really wants to show uh, some appreciation and affection for his guru there, then one should do that towards his god brothers, especially those god brothers that have, that have served Srila Guru Dev in the way that he wanted to, and should try to become close to them, serve them, and in that way, you know, try to learn how to serve Srila Guru Dev. Good. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Jagadi speaking. Come in. So, for many days we've been hearing the Vaishnava speaking about my Srila Gurudev and um, hearing also the glories of Srila Bhagavad so much. And I'm um, hearing my god brothers speak of uh, this family of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and how my Srila Gurudev is bringing and calling everyone into this family. Um, in a family there's the parents, there's the mother and the father, and there's sisters and brothers, there's older brothers, younger brothers, older sisters, younger sisters, uncles, <coughs> aunties. Some are qualified to understand um, what their father is teaching them. Some are foolish and useless. The father is very rich and has a lot of wealth and he's distributing his wealth to all his sons and daughters and some are just wasting all of this. Uh, one time I'm hearing from the Vaishnavas, uh, father has two sons. He's giving each of these sons some allowance. He's giving them each one rupee. And after one week, he's calling his sons and asking, Oh, he's asking the first son, I gave you one rupee. Uh, what, what did you do with it? He said, I'm buying a sweet and I'm eating it. Oh, very good. This is very nice. And he's asking the other son, What did you do? He said, I'm spending this one rupee on some things, then I'm selling, and then I'm having two rupees. And so, the father is very pleased with the second son. And so next time allowance time comes, 
He's giving two rupees to that son and still only one rupee to the foolish son. And he can't understand why he's only getting one rupee and his, his brother's getting two rupees. And like this, it goes on, continues. He's getting one rupee, his brother getting two rupees, four rupees, eight rupees, sixteen rupees. And this will continue. If we continue to be foolish, nothing. But if we're trying to take what Shri Gurudev is giving, and as A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada would put it, double up our Krishna consciousness, then we're getting so much more. And so, we're in this family, and Shiva Gurudev, he's giving us four verses, um, most important verses. We've heard everyone speak on these verses. So, um, I'm kind of good on these verses, some of them I'm not so good. So if everyone would um, chant these verses with me, um, little um, kids' class, um, this is nice. So we'll start with Anya Vila Shita Shunyam, and then Trinata P, Sunichana, then Tate Nukapam, and then Bacha Vigam. So. Anya Vila Shita Shunyam, Jnana Kamaliya Vritam, Krishna Shiyam Bhakti Uttam. Shunara peace with each other, or a peace with each other. Amadi Amadena, Kikani Asadari. Tate Yoga Pams, Shasabe Shamana, Gunjana, Hilapam, Vitam, Vitam. Rajo Vedam, Manasa Krodha Vedam, Jeeva Vedam, Udaya Pasta Vedam, Ekan Vedam, Yogi Shaita Jira, Sarvam Abhiman, Thank you. Um, um, I don't know so many verses, I don't know so much Tattva Siddhanta, but I have my god brothers and my god sisters. They've collected so much from my Srila Gurudev, and they keep it in their heart, and they help me so much in the process of bhakti. Um, so many Vaishnavas um, can help. So many god brothers, so many god sisters. And we see that some have taken some things from Shiva Gurudev, and some have not, and some are going astray and trying to pull others this way and that way. But Shiva Gurudev, he gave everything very straight and very strong. It's unfortunate, um, he's saying don't criticize, it's so difficult, every class he's saying don't criticize, yet we criticize and other of our God brothers got just criticizing, and we're not helping each other. I know, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Only criticizing. <laughs> so I need help. Sometimes I'm criticizing, sometimes I'm committing aparad. One time I'm committing aparad, I got the fortune of coming face to face with Srila Gurudev. And he's telling me, of so many disciples, he has 100,000 disciples. 100,000. Eight lakh shisha, he said. So many disciples, he said. No one is like you. <laughs> <laughs> That time, I didn't understand so much what was happening. Um, little fighting with Gurudev also. But that day my heart was like broken. I made Gurudev upset. And this feeling is, is not so good. Only he's not a very good one, he's a very bad one. Yes. Good person. I also see uh, <laughs> who is Dina Bandhu, who is Patik Pavan, understanding how low and how fallen. He's coming down from, he's Uttam Mahabhagavat, but he's coming down to Madhyam. But more than that, he's coming way down to our level to help us. So low. He's not 
to come down to level. Mm -hmm. Thousand people complaining, one person. Mm -hmm. Then how much mercy bro? Mm -hmm. Great mercy. Yes, thousand person mercy come. Mm -hmm. And good with these things is put in bringing and caring. Mm -hmm. And this is giving, distributing. This is very great. <laughs> Not too bad things. Mm -hmm. And all I think, this boy is bad, this boy is bad. All complaining. Then, mm -hmm. That concept is bad, concept is bad, all complaining. Then it is to kill you. The Guru then near complaining, come to Guru to come. Mm -hmm. uh, asking, talking, and, and telling something. And this is his mm -hmm. offering. Accepting. Accepting. He's calling me his disciple, you're telling me after. Yes, he said he had 100,000 disciples, I'm also one of his disciples. This is a glorious thing. How many people not have this happen? How many unfortunates? I'm low, but I'm his disciple. So I have a chance. <laughs> so, yeah. so like this, uh, Prabhupada is saying also we should speak something what Guru Maharaj would like to hear. So, I, know, I know like one Guru Sloka. But, um, how's it go? Brahmanda Brahmite Khon Bhagavan Ajeev. Guru Krishna Prasadi by Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhakti Lata Beach. Seed. Beach is a seed. Very tiny. We have a very tiny seed. It's not so, not a big deal. Um, Guru Devi plants this seed. By the mercy of Krishna, He's taking you out of this samsara. You're going all through the universe. All the species. Then Guru, uh, Krishna sees some intention, good intention, and then he's manifesting as Guru. And then Guru taking the seed and planting it. We only have a seed. That's all we have. Then Guru is planting and showing us how to water. He's giving us in Shravan and Kirtan and Vishnu, Smaran, Padasev, and Dasyam, Sakyam, Vandanam, Archanam, Atman, Vedam. And this seed is sprouting, and then two leaves are coming. Klesh Agni and Shuvada. Auspiciousness. How auspicious is, is it to be with Sri Guru? So auspicious. He's removing all obstacles. This Klesh Agni, this burning forest fire, he's removing this also. The moment I saw Sri Gurudev, like millions and millions of births, all those sins, Finished. I should have died at that moment. I saw my Shri Guru Dev for the first time. Feeling was so great. And then, through Aparad and so many things, this inspiration, this Guru's mercy, it feels less and less and less. But how to get this Guru, this um, Guru Seva, Guru, Guru Nishta, Guru Seva, and Guru Bhakti? How to get these things? We've been hearing everyone speak about these things, but what is my Guru Seva? First, do I have Guru Nishta? And with this Guru Nishta, will I perform Guru Seva? And will I get Guru Bhakti? Who has this Guru Bhakti? Who has this Guru Seva? Who has this Guru Nishta? Who can give me? I don't have. I have no idea. Who has idea? Someone saying this person, this person, that person. Guru Dev not here anymore, so go somewhere else. Go, go far away. Go hear from someone else. I don't think this is right. This doesn't sound right. Who is Guru Dev telling us to hear from? Who is Guru Dev saying is Guru Seva? Who is he giving title? Anyone has title of a servant, topmost servant, jewel, jewel of Seva? So if we're going near someone who is powerful and potent, who has this Seva Vritti, who has Guru Nishta, who has Guru Bhakti, they can also give us Seva, then we can get Guru Nishta, then we can receive Guru Bhakti. But now we don't have. So we're thinking, I go here, I go there, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But the process is, is very simple. You go to that place where you see your Gurudev's mood. So Jatya and Snigda, same mood and soft. 
like every Hare Krishna Prabhu is saying and so many are saying, Gurudev is friend to all, he's giving shelter to everyone. So anyone giving shelter, we should go there. And it's just not shelter, it's a place you can perform bhakti, a place you can get Guru Nishta, you can perform Guru Seva, and you can get Guru Bhakti. Because without those things, zombie, dead body walking here and there. And that's what I feel like now. I don't have strong Guru Nishta, I don't have any real Guru Seva, and I don't have Guru Bhakti. So my life is useless. How am I getting these things? I'm asking myself, what is my Guru Seva? I want everyone to ask themselves, what is my Guru Seva? How much Guru Nishta do I have? And do I have any Guru Bhakti? Prabhuji is talking about relationship, then you're feeling separation. Mm. Not so much separation. How many tears? So many of my God brothers, God sisters, they have tears. I have no tears. This is, this is some external show of how much advancement I have. No advancement. So many years around Shri Gurudev, like a stone. He's pouring and pouring and pouring Prema Bhakti. Pouring and pouring and pouring. River, I'm a, I'm a stone in a river of Bhakti. But not one drop, one drop is going inside. So if one drop can go inside, one good memory of my Shri Gurudev in my heart, that chastisement or that, that beautiful Harikata, if this is ever sticking or working and cleaning, then I have a chance. Because right now I am polluted. I have polluted consciousness, polluted conception. And am I Anugatya? This is very important. Am I following under guidance? Should I follow under guidance of someone from outside? Or should I follow under the guidance of someone who's under the guidance of my Srila Gurudev? under the guidance of my Srila Gurudev. This whole line is Shiksha. Who did Guru Maharaj give Shiksha? Who did he invest all of his potency in? That place I go. I don't go here and there. I go to where Gurudev, his nearest and dearest, has everything. He's giving everything. And in front of some people, last the moment, he's telling everything. I'm giving this person everything. You can take it either way, but some of us know he's already given everything. He spoke it with his own mouth. So, so, many, so many years people saying, Oh, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, taking Srila Gurudev's hand and telling him everything, saying, please take my disciples and give them shiksha. Anyone Srila Gurudev telling this to? We should think about this. We should search for this. This is our duty. Our duty is to find who will give us Krishna Bhakti, who will give us Guru Bhakti, who will give us these things. So, uh, my Srila Gurudev, just one pastime, uh, every year he's performing Kartik Parikama, Bhajvanda Parikama in the month of Kartik. Very enthusiastic. Um, him and his God brothers, so much potency. So much um, Seva Vritti. My Guru Maharaj, I'm hearing from the Vaishnavas, the month of Kartik, he's not sitting. He's standing the whole month. They're going any place, he's standing and speaking Harikata. Prashadam time, he's standing. Um, uh, cooking time, he's, he's watching, he's standing. Never sitting one moment. Next Seva, next Seva, next Seva. Constant Seva. Constantly engaging others in Seva. This is the symptoms. So, one time, Sri uh, Prabhupada Premanandra was asking, uh, how do you get this energy? How do, you get, how do you get so much potency? How can you do all day standing and serving, day after day after day after day, and I don't see you sleeping? You're not sleeping. And then Sri Guru is saying, at night I take my Japa Mala, and I'm putting my hands on the Japa Mala, and touching Tulsi, and chanting, and then the kunj is opening, like the curtain is removed, and then he's seeing Radha Krishna's pastimes. And this, all this potency is going into him and giving him some, some 
Shakti. This is, this is where we need to go. This is what we need to, to see and to think about. Where am I getting my inspiration from? Where am I getting my energy from? So, uh, this pastime is so beautiful in detail. I don't have so much detail, but just speaking a little bit. I had so many other things I wanted to say, but my mind is blank. So I've taken enough time. Um, I hope one day my Shiva Gurudev is pleased with me, and that I can receive all these things I've been speaking about, and that my life can be successful, um, serving him and making him happy. So Hare Krishna, Pancha Kapa Tri Vishak, Vipasa Yuvayavacha, Patirinam Pavarivyo Vashyavayavyo Namah.